What's up, you guys? Welcome to this week's episode of Bitchopedia. I'm your host, Becca, and I'm back today showing my face once again because, well, a couple of reasons. I have an announcement to make. Um, this is actually going to be recorded, um, and I'm, I've started a YouTube channel because everyone kept telling me to do it, so finally I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. So now there's added pressure to get podcasts out, and I have to, like, look decent. So that's terrifying because normally I just look like a disaster because it doesn't matter. It's just my voice. But now I've got YouTube, so I'm going to post it because I know a lot of people, even my friends have said that they like to watch um, a lot of their podcasts. So I am going to be doing that. Um, and then also I'm going to try to push out content like never before. And I know I have said this multiple times, but this is truly just my hero's journey. I have to learn how to be consistent. Okay. And that's what today's episode I'm going to be doing, hopefully maybe just like mini sews. I don't know exactly how long they'll last because I can talk for a really long time. So I say mini sews, but they could end up being an hour of just me blabbering, but I'm going to try to incorporate some of like the daily lessons that I learned because I look at every day and this is about to sound really like corny, but hear me out. I try to look at every day because every day I'm presented with a lesson. I try to look at that and examine it. And I feel like it's part of my job to share that with you guys because I get a lot of really valuable lessons just in every day. And I've learned that because I've started paying closer attention. And again, this is kind of cringy, but it's true. I started meditating and doing yoga, which it's really hard to say without sounding pretentious but I really am like I did it for a couple of reasons and I think I talked about this on the last episode where I checked in with you guys but I did the I wanted to do the 30-day challenge of um 30 days of yoga no excuses right so I've been doing really well I'm on day 16 I have it written on my little board that's what I was looking at um I'm on day 16 and I did today I did day 16 but last night when I was getting out of the car, I smashed my knee into my car door in a way that only I could have done it. But I'm telling you, it, it sent a shock through my system. It was like hitting my funny bone, but it was a huge bruise on my knee. It looked like there was a gumball under my skin. It was so swollen. It was disgusting. But I knew that I didn't want that to hold me back from, let me move this. I didn't want that to hold me back from um, my workout and what I had been doing because if I end my workout, if I miss a day, I have to go back, <laughs> my kitten's over there. I have to go back to day one, which I obviously do not want to do. So last night I started preparing myself and I was icing my knee. I took some medicine, some Tylenol, helped with the swelling, took a bath and was soaking it. I stretched it out, did some more yoga last night and just was trying to take it easy on that so I could be ready today and that was impressive for me because normally I would have just been like no I'm hurt I'm not going to do it right it's an easy excuse but I knew at this point I had done it so much that it is a part of my routine and I know that I'm not going to feel good about it if I don't do that routine and I know myself in that if I don't do it if I skip a day I will like it's done. You know what I mean? I have to do every day consistently, even if it's a small amount, I have to do something consistently every day. So that is what I've been trying to challenge myself to so that I can apply the same consistency and habits and routine to the podcast and a YouTube channel if I want, because I get overwhelmed with things. And that's my MO too. I've learned is that when I get overwhelmed, if I have too many things that I need to do, I do none of them. I remember a day that I had all, I, I got off work. I was supposed to be working at one of the new locations we opened up, but it was slower than they thought. They were like, we need to get these trainees trained and ready. So just go on home. So I had a whole day and I was like, I had so many things I needed to do. Now this is my chance. I get my day off and I sat at the bar to get some food because I work in a restaurant. I sat down to get some food and I was like, I'm going to eat my lunch and then I'm going to go home. I'm going to work on my social media. I'm going to make a podcast. I'm going to make, and you know, I had all these things. And then I sat up there wondering which one I should do first and just going back and forth and never making a decision that I ended up doing none of them. And that is just a classic move. So same thing the other day, I had all these things I could have been doing and instead I procrastinated and just avoided it 
And then it just reinforced my anxiety. And it's like, Rebecca, <laughs> if you'll just do what you need to do, you can play later. Like, it's not going to take you long. Stop getting so overwhelmed. Make a list. Like, I know how to do these things. I'm a fucking Virgo, okay? I know how to make lists. I know how to plan. I know how to do all these things. It's just doing them and like getting started that is like, that's my trope in life that I have to learn to get over. So my point is if we do stick to our routine, it doesn't take very long. Again, this is day 16. So it's been two weeks of me waking up every day and doing yoga, going to the gym. I'm trying to get a set routine. And now I'm going to incorporate uh, social media content into that, right? Because that's something that I want to do, but I don't ever have the time to do it. And that's, that's really not true because that's an excuse I use. And that's what I thought whenever I told people I was doing yoga and meditating and they would be like, yeah, I just don't have time. I'd be like, uh, you really do. Like it's hard, but if you want to, you can do those things. I know because I did it and I made time and I can do the exact same thing with social media content. I need to get over the anxiety of needing everything. Perfection is a big thing for me. So like needing everything to be perfect before I put it out is a huge burden that I carry. And I have all these ideas, but then when I can't get them out of my brain fast enough, I'm like, okay, whatever. And I just give up, I give up on it completely, but I don't want to do that. And I've got other things in the mix um, that I really just, like, I, I've, I've got a vision, all of it came together. Right. And it's no more bullshit. Like, I really want people to know that when I say it this time, I mean it, like I am changing my outlook and I'm changing my habits and I'm changing my routine and I'm going to apply it to everything in my life. And I need to remember, and you need to remember that if you start doing this to give yourself a little bit of grace, actually give yourself a lot of grace, because when I think back, this started a year ago, everyone knows after my breakup, like that's when my renaissance came about. Okay. And I started doing everything different. I started living my life in a different way. I became at peace, like with body, mind, soul, all these things, you know, everything's changing, but I, um, there are still times that I mess up, you know, and there are still days that I get so hard on myself and it's like, look at how far you've come. It's only been a year and look at how far you've come, you know, like you're changing a lot. So don't be too hard on yourself. If you have to start with one thing and just kind of ease into it, um, with other things, like integrate them slowly. You know what I mean? Because me going from doing nothing, like I, I at the beginning of all this, I was like not getting out of bed. Like I couldn't get out of bed. And if I did get out of bed because I had my son with me, I would get out of bed, make him breakfast, do whatever he you know, needed me to do. And then I would go back and get in bed, you know? And it's just like, and that's hard for me to admit. It's, I mean, that's a huge, you know, like open, uh, an open door for people to like mommy shame me, you know, like, cause I, I shamed myself. I felt like a terrible mother and to expect me to go from that to now all of a sudden I'm doing yoga six times a week or seven times a week and working out four or five times a week or sit, you know, however many times like doing all that stuff is almost unrealistic to expect in such a short amount of time. I'm not saying it can't be done, but it takes a lot of dedication to get there. And it doesn't happen overnight in my experience um partially because I was healing I was grieving you know and I'm trying to do all these things like it was a total overhaul so yeah that takes time but it's worth it so if you need to start slow do that that's what I did you know what I mean and it's easy I was just listening to um it's one of my favorite podcasts manifestation babe um let me see I'll look for while I'm talking I'll look for which episode it is because she did it I, this is the second time I've listened to it um and she talks about, sorry, I'm trying to find this. Um, okay, it's episode 215 on Manifestation Babe, Apple, Spotify, whatever. And the title is, if you're doubting your ability to create your dream life, you must listen to this. And it's only a few minutes long. Um, but she talks about how it's easy to forget that people start somewhere. You know, you look at these people who are uber successful, but you forget that like a few years before they were just a normal person, you know? And a lot of times you hear this story about like all these actors, like the one off the top of my head, I want to say Annie Murphy is her real name. Um, Alexis from Schitt's Creek, you know, there were interviews that she was doing where she was like, this is my last, like, this was my last try, or this was my last dollar I had, you know, every 
not everyone, but a lot of these artists and actors and really successful people, you hear them say, like, I was on my last leg and I just, it was that last time, you know, that last chance. And that's what happens. We have to keep going and putting ourselves out there until we do get uh, to receive the benefits for our hard work. You know what I'm saying? And the opportunities are going to present themselves but all you're doing is increasing the possibility of it happening by persistently and consistently putting yourself out there, which is what I need to do. And I'm challenging you guys to do it as well as myself. Like I know in all of these things that I talk about, these are all things I'm learning too. I'm not the expert, you know, like I look at myself as a vessel to kind of explain things to you guys and make it easier, put them into situations um, in my life. But like a lot of this stuff I'm learning and researching right before I do the episode. It's just, I'll hear these things that I want to talk about. And I'm like, wow, that's really interesting. I think people would be interested in that. So let me look it up and I'll share it with you guys. And a lot of times I'll find like experts that I can get on here, like Kate, who I love having on here, or Nate, who was on here, Nate Ortiz, who was on here talking about holding trauma in your body. All of those people, like those are the ones who can pass this information to you. So just know, like I'm coming to you, not from a place of I've got it all figured out. It is the opposite of that. It's like, hey, this is what I'm learning on my journey. Let me explain it to you so that hopefully you can just hear it and not have to go through it, you know, like learn from my mistakes, basically. And even if that doesn't happen, after you make the mistakes, I'll be here to be like, yeah, I did it too. It's cool. Like we're in this together. Okay, so that's all I have for today. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to get um, a few things pumped out, but I just implore all of you guys to practice gratitude. Um, My morning, I've got it over here, but my little morning board, I can post it on Instagram, says, um, this is like my to-do list. And it says, show gratitude is number one. So I'll wake up, I show gratitude to the universe and thankful more and more every day I'm thankful for things. And because I'm looking for it, I'm finding things to be thankful for that I never would have thought of before. In fact, um, a story, this is a random story, but this morning I saw this woman, I was going to Target to buy earbuds. And I saw this woman sitting outside on the bench with her son and he was about my son's age. And she was just leaning down and the trees were all behind her. It was just really pretty, like a pretty scene. And I wanted to take a picture of it and show it to her because my ex-husband, I have a ton of pictures of him, like with my kid doing cute things, but I never got pictures like that. Even though I did it, you know, he would never take those pictures. So I appreciate those moments. And I appreciated the moment in that it was something just really sweet, you know, her like reading with her son or whatever it is she was doing. So I took a picture and almost didn't do it because I was like, oh, this is terrifying. A, B, I look like a stalker. Like this woman is going to think I'm nuts because it is like, I get it. I'm taking a picture of you. And I snap the picture and she sees me. So then I have to walk over. There's just like 30 seconds of me walking up to her before I can explain why I'm taking a picture, like why a stranger is taking a picture of her. So I walk up and she's like, hey, did you just take a picture of me? <laughs> and I was like, yes, but let me explain why, okay? Hear me out. So I showed her the picture and I was like, you know, you can send it to yourself. But like moms never have these pictures and it was a cute moment. So I, you know, she takes the phone or whatever and starts putting her number in. And she was like, well, do you know what we were doing? We're practicing on our reading because uh, if he reads all of these books, then he can go in and get a treat. His name was Nick. And she said, Nick, tell her what your treat's going to be. And he said it was Legos and Pokemon. And we just bonded over this. It was this like beautiful moment. And I wanted the mom to realize to just kind of take a second because I have to do this now too with my kid. Like those are really precious moments that you aren't really paying attention to because it seemed like something like that was probably something he's learning to read it's probably been a struggle right so she's probably frustrated and at her wits end and now she's she's resorted to the reward system you know like listen I'll give you something if you'll just do what I need you to do right which there's a parallel there between the universe and our relationship (laughs) so just take that lesson with it but she was having this moment and from the outside looking in it's a beautiful moment of reminding you like yes he has been struggling to read or whatever has been going on but now we've got this beautiful moment it's a sunny day we're sitting outside I'm enjoying time with my son you know who's not going to want to talk to me when he's a teenager you know he's a young kid he's enjoying this moment he gets a prize and a Pokemon toy at the end of the day it's just going to like set his happiness off the charts and it was just this beautiful moment and I hope that that's what she took a second to realize like 
I put myself out there in a position that I didn't necessarily want to be in because it was really, really uncomfortable for me. But I felt like it was important. And whenever I hear strangers give me compliments or I interact with strangers and it's pleasant, it's always something that sticks with me for days, weeks, months, years, however long, you know, if it's a really like genuine moment, I, I think that those lessons, those moments can be lessons and can teach us things. So I'm done with all my crazy talk today. Um, but like I said, I'm launching the YouTube channel. So it's going to be Bitchopedia. Um, it's going to have Bitchopedia episodes, hopefully most of them, if not video, at least audio um, that I'll do. You can still listen on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Um, and then I'll also be posting TikToks, which my TikTok is at Becca.Bitchopedia. Um, and I post a lot of stuff about housewives and Bravo. Every now and then I'll throw in like a couple of random ones about things that I'm thinking about. But that's all my social media. Um, Twitter is at Becca J underscore 34. Um, I post all of my new TikToks and things on there as well. So the YouTube channel, you're just going to search Wikipedia and you'll be on there. Um, I'm trying to make sure I covered all my bases. I think I did. So like I said, hopefully these, I know they're a little short episodes, but hopefully um, we can meet a couple of times a week. Um, maybe eventually every day we can have um, our little time together and just kind of take a moment to have gratitude and, you know, appreciate life. Yes. All right. Thanks guys. And y'all tune in and we will see you next week, hopefully. Bye.